Welcome to Headline Simsbury. I'm Karen Hanville. The town of Simsbury is launching a collaborative land use study for the property at 200 Hot Meadow Street, the Hartford Insurance Company building. This effort will include an intensive charrette process, which will be held from September 7th to September 12th. The charrette process will include several sessions for public participation. Residents are specifically invited to review, comment, and participate in a broad discussion of future opportunities for this 172-acre property in Simsbury. The sessions will allow the public to participate in a preference polling exercise and comment directly to the town's consultant gateway planning about possible opportunities for this important property uh, for Simsbury's future. There will be two public polling exercises taking place on Saturday, September 6th. The first session runs from 10 to noon, the second session from 2 to 4. Next, the public is invited to a community open house at the Hartford on Monday, September 9th at 6.30 p.m. to view the work produced by the consulting team up to that point. Finally, a community presentation will take place at the Hartford on Tuesday, September 10th at 6.30 p.m. All residents and Simsbury taxpayers are urged to attend whatever sessions you can as your input to the consulting team is welcome and needed. If you have any questions or comments, please call the Simsbury Planning Department at 860-658-3228 or email Hiram Peck, the Director of Planning, at hpeck at simsbury-ct.gov. Since its Simsbury launch in September of 2012, the Connecticut Conference of Municipalities Prescription Drug Discount Card Program has provided an average savings of 40% on prescription drug costs for a total dollar amount of over $36,000 to more than 800 Simsbury residents. As a member of the Connecticut Conference of Municipalities, the town is eligible to participate in the program at no cost to the town. The program provides savings averaging 10 to 20 percent on brand prescriptions and 20 to 70 percent on generics for a total average savings of 45 percent to uninsured and underinsured residents. Anyone can participate regardless of age and all prescriptions are covered. 63,000 pharmacies including most chains nationwide participate in the program. Discount cards may also be used to save on medications for family pets that can be filled in participating pharmacies. For more information or to download your own discount card, go to www.ctrxdiscountcard.com. Here's another sports trivia question from Headlines contributor Vincent Spada. What golfer won both the Masters Tournament and the Open Championship, British Open, back in 1998 and was named PGA Player of the Year? We'll have the answer for you later in the program. McLean will have its 23rd annual golf tournament, dinner and auction, September 9th at the Hot Meadow Country Club. The McLean Golf Tournament provides needed support to McLean Home Care and Hospice. If you would like to golf, attend the dinner, auction, or support McLean Home Care and Hospice, please contact Vicki DiRizenzo at her email or call 860-658-3702 or you can visit www.mclean online. The live auction items include tickets to the 2014 Masters in Augusta, Georgia, a week in Tuscany for four, a photo safari in Africa for two, Red Sox tickets for the 2014 season for four on the first baseline with limo service to Fenway Park, four nights in a Bermuda resort with airfare for two, private wine tasting for you and 20 of your friends in the wine loft at Supercellar Warehouse Liquors. Wow. Cantor Mark Perman has information about the Jewish holidays. Rosh Hashanah, the birthday of the world. 
during which the shofar or the ram's horn is sounded, we hear that piercing sound waking, it, waking us up to repentance, to renewal, to reflect on who we've been the past year, how we've related to other people, how we've related to God, and what changes we want to make in the year ahead. In fact, according to the teachings of the rabbis on Yom Kippur, if you've sinned against God, we can atone before God, but if, if we've sinned before other human beings, we have to go to those particular individuals and ask for forgiveness. We're required to make teshuvah, or repent, in order to avert what's called the severe decree. What might the judgment be? Are we written for the book of life, or are we not written for the book of life in the coming year? Rosh Hashanah means the head of the year, Rosh Hashanah, and is celebrated on the first day of the seventh month of the lunar calendar, which is called Tishrei, at which time we are supposed to, or Tishrei, however you want to emphasize it. At that time, we're supposed to cease from work as well as our obligations. We abstain from using money. It is a time of holiness and, as I said, deep personal reflection. <clears throat> so a little melody, a tune, a nagoon that would set the tone for the high holidays is the following. If you were traveling anywhere in the world and you heard this melody and you didn't know what the day was, you didn't know what the year was, you would know that it was time for the high holidays because it would be like this. And these words might be attached to it. The miracle of crossing the Sea of Reeds and that God parted the Sea of Reeds and that when we stood at the brink of crossing the Sea of Reeds, we said, oh, what a miracle that God has done this for us, has enabled this to happen for us. So uh, we discussed Rosh Hashanah during the 10 days, the 10 days of repentance. Finally, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. We say the gates are open during those 10 days to repent, and finally they start to close on the 10th day of the 10 days of repentance with Yom Kippur. And at that point, we're supposed to have repented, although the rabbis teach that the gates are still open even after Yom Kippur. So wishing you and yours a sweet and healthy, happy new year, and um, Shana Tova, and we say after Rosh Hashanah, Gamar Chatima Tova, may you be written up for a sweet and healthy and happy new year. I'm Cantor Mark Perman, Farmington Valley Jewish Congregation, Emek Shalom in Simsbury. The Farmington Valley Jewish Congregation, Emek Shalom, located on Bushy Hill Road in Simsbury, will be having a special service for the unaffiliated and the High Holy Day Curious on Tuesday, September 10th at 7 p.m. All are welcome to come to, this, to the temple that evening for this unique spiritual and educational experience. For more information, you can email cantorperman at mjperman9 at gmail.com. The Simsbury Retired Men's Luncheon Programs will start up again on Tuesday, September 10th at 12 noon with lunch followed by a speaker. The first topic is on the Hooker Brewery. The Simsbury Retired Men's Luncheon Program meets on the second Tuesday of each month from September through May. Lunch is $8. They meet in Palmer Hall on the lower level of the First Church of Christ on the corner of Hot Meadow and West Street. All are welcome. And for more information, you can contact Dane Woodbury at 860-658-7996. The McLean Wellness staff at the Virginia Darling Young Therapeutic Pool is offering a special open enrollment period for September. The pool temperature is kept at a soothing 92 degrees, perfect for aquatic exercise for those that have any form of arthritis, orthopedic issues, and great for pre- and post-operative exercise. 
You do not need to know how to swim, nor will you get your hair wet unless you want to. There are many benefits of aquatic exercise. In the wellness pool classes, you will experience the use of many different types of equipment to enhance your workout. The specially trained and certified staff will lead you through a series of exercises to improve your overall strength, flexibility, heart health, and they hope you will have fun too. You may choose to pay by the class, by the month, with several options, or an annual membership. You can call 860-658-3750 or visit online at mclanecare.org slash wellness for more information. And as an added bonus for fall enrollees, McLean will provide a free 15-minute personal fitness assessment to help you design your perfect wellness plan. McLean invites you to their series of events designed to offer support and help caregivers better understand how Alzheimer's and dementia impacts their loved one's needs. Understanding the Senior Care Alphabet will be on Wednesday, September 4th from 6 to 7.30. Getting help from everywhere and everyone you can on Wednesday, September 18th from noon to 1.30. No one sees what I see. How to communicate the changes you are seeing on Wednesday, September 25th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. All events will be held in the McLean Health Center. Enjoy a light lunch or supper buffet while your loved one enjoys a specially designed activity with the McLean staff. For more information or to RSVP, you can call 658-3786 or online at mcleancare.org slash RSVP. Robin Ligotti, McLean Director of Post-Acute Services, will speak on what you need to know before joint replacement surgery on Wednesday, September 18th at 5 p.m. at the Burke Holder Community Center in the McLean Village, 100 Sarah Lane. Dr. Ligotti is recognized as an expert on rehabilitation after joint replacement surgery. The focus of her workshop will be the different options for therapy after surgery, including both physical and occupational therapies. She will explain the choices between outpatient home care and post-acute rehab to provide information for you to discuss with your physician to determine together what's right for you. The information will include what to expect from therapy and rehab after surgery, practical suggestions for preparing the home after hospitalization, and will include a home safety checklist as well as information on easy ways to maintain physical activity before surgery to help with a speedy recovery. You can RSVP at 860-658-3702 or online at mclanecare.org and click on the events calendar. The Simsbury Newcomers Club invites you to their annual coffee for registration and activity sign up. Make new acquaintances and learn more about the Newcomers Club by coming on Thursday, September 12th at 5.30 or attend the morning coffee on Friday, September 13th at 10 a.m. Both meet in the Simsbury Public Library's meeting room and if you have questions, you can contact Marilyn at 860-404-8945 or her email on the screen. The Simsbury Women's Club Annual Arts and Crafts Festival will take place on September 14th and 15th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. rain or shine on Iron Horse Boulevard with free admission and parking. F food and soft drink will be available while you browse and shop at the booths of juried artists, photographers, jewelers, potters, and there's also going to be clothing, handcrafted soaps, blown glass, antique car show, and more. The money earned by the Women's Club is donated to the many local nonprofit organizations and three academic scholarships are also awarded. If you're interested in finding out more about last year's recipients, you can watch the video of the club's awards luncheon where all the recipients said a few words about their organization and you can find that at simsburytv.org. Mark your calendar for the Simsbury Grange Fair to be held on Saturday, September 15th from 9 to 3 at the Grange Hall, 236 Farms Village Road. 
This is an agricultural fair featuring vendor booths, games, prizes, baked goods, and vegetables will be for sale. This is also family fun, music, and food. The fair brochures are available at the Simsbury Town Hall, Fleming Farm, Senior Center, and the Simsbury Library, or you can go online at www.simsburygrange.org where you can find more information about the Grange. Duncaster Retirement Community will host a new series called The Art and Science of Graceful Aging. It will be presented by Hartford Healthcare. The series will feature notable physicians leading discussions on improving health and engaging in life. Sessions will be September 24th, October 24th, November 14th, and January 23rd. All sessions will be head, held at Duncaster on 40 Loeffler Road in Bloomfield at 3 p.m. They are free and open to the public, but pre-registration is required. The September 24th session will cover brain health. To register, contact Fran Kent at 860-380-5006 or fkent at duncaster.org. Bill Thomas is here to give you information about Simsbury Fly-In on September 15th. Hi, I'm Bill Thomas, the manager of Simsbury Airport. I'd like to extend an invitation for you to attend the 28th annual Simsbury Fly-In and Car Show to be held this year on Sunday, September 15. This is the largest event of its kind in New England, featuring displays of more than 600 great airplanes and cars of virtually every type and vintage. We also provide lots for the entire family to do, including kids' activities and flying demonstrations, the Lifestar Medivac helicopter, and tethered rides in the Remax hot air balloon. You will see displays of many new airplanes and cars attend free seminars and find exhibits by businesses offering a wide range of products and services. This year we expect to have participation by a number of well-known museums. Old Rhinebeck Aerodrome, which is famous for flying airplanes that date back to World War I, will bring its replica SPAD fighter plane and an old Tiger Moth biplane. The New England Air Museum will do hourly demonstration runs of a very old blimp engine. Owl's Head Transportation Museum will bring items for display. We'll also feature a full-scale mock-up of the new Cirrus Vision, which is a small jet aircraft. But perhaps the most interesting feature this year will be a focus on the controversy over whether the Wright brothers were the first to fly. The Connecticut Air and Space Museum will display an exact replica of an airplane built by Gustav Whitehead. It's claimed that Whitehead flew the original of this aircraft two years before the Wrights and in Connecticut. The replica has actually flown. We'll also feature a seminar on this major historical controversy. We hope you'll attend and listen to the Whitehead story and make up your own mind. The car show portion of the event will be coordinated by Porter and Chester Institute. If you have an interesting car, perhaps an antique, a hot rod, a muscle car, or something exotic such as a Rolls Royce or Ferrari, you can enter it for judging and maybe win a trophy. Our event will be held at Simsbury Airport, 94 Walcott Road, starting at 8 a.m. and ending by 3 p.m. A delicious pancake breakfast will be served during the morning. Over the noon hour, you can buy a great lunch at reasonable prices. Ben and Jerry's ice cream will be available, along with snacks and food items from a number of vendors. There's no charge for admission, but we do hope you'll make a donation as you enter. We're an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization, and we receive no financial support from the town or state or federal government. Parking is available nearby at $5, with proceeds benefiting the Boy Scouts. Handicap parking is also available, as is a wheelchair-accessible restroom. Yes, pets are welcome on leashes. We even provide a watering station. You can see lots more about the event, including driving directions, a complete schedule of activities, videos, and information about entering your airplane or car for display at www.simsburyflyin.com. Many air shows have been canceled this year due to the federal budget sequestration. 
but we'll still be in full operation. I hope you can join us. Early fall is the perfect time to take part in the 2013 Discover Hartford Bicycle Tour, which will take place on Saturday, September 21st in Hartford's beautiful Bushnell Park. Festivities start at 8.45 a.m. and you can register before then at the Big Tent. The ride will begin and end in Bushnell Park. Register early so you can take part in a 10, 25, or 40 mile ride through Hartford's parks and diverse neighborhoods. See your capital city and then spend the rest of the day at Envision Fest. Sarah Hart is here to talk about the Simsbury Free Library programs and events. Hi, my name is Sarah Hart and I am the program director for the Simsbury Free Library. I just wanted to let you know about some of the great programs we will be offering this fall. All of our programs are open to the public and many of them are free. RSVPs are requested via phone or email. At the Simsbury Free Library, we love books and movies. We have a drop-in book club on the second Tuesday of every month at 11.15 a.m. Feel free to drop in to, dis to discuss our featured book when you're in town or to see a book that interests you. On September 10th, we will be discussing the novel Life of Pi. As a special treat, we will be showing the movie Life of Pi on Tuesday, September 17th at 1 p.m., followed by a short discussion. Life of Pi is the story about Pai Patel, whose ship sinks on the way from India to North America with his family and their zoo animals. Pai finds himself stranded alone on a lifeboat with a variety of animals, including a 450-pound Bengal tiger. We present a different documentary or foreign language film on the fourth Thursday of every month at 1 p.m. On Thursday, September 26th, we will show the Norwegian film Kontiki. Nominated for the 2013 Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film, Kontiki tells the story of legendary Norwegian explorer Thor Heyendal and his attempt to prove his theory that Peruvians could have been the first inhabitants of Polynesia. The film chronicles the explorer and his crew on their epic 101-day-long journey, sailing a balsa wood raft 4,300 miles across the Pacific. On Wednesday, September 18th, we will take a bus trip to see the famous Cedar Hill Cemetery in Hartford. Join us for a one-and-a-half Walk, hour walking tour of the cemetery and learn about the lives and accomplishments of people who made significant contributions to Hartford and beyond, such as J.P. Morgan, Samuel Colt, and Katherine Hepburn. Our tour will be followed by a gourmet lunch at the Lincoln Culinary Institute in Hartford. The bus will leave from the corner of Wilcox Street and Iron Horse Boulevard at 9 a.m. sharp and return around 1.30 p.m. Cost is $35 for members and $40 for non-members. Advanced reservations and payment are required. The Simsbury Free Library will also offer a series of lectures titled Connecticut History in Four Episodes with Professor Tom Ratliff beginning in September. Connecticut's rich historical past will be explored through a series of lectures covering our history from 200 million years ago to modern times with a focus on the process of change, how we evolved from Native American landscape to, to Puritan colonies, from Puritan to Yankee, from Yankee to American, from farm community to mill village, and from textiles, clocks, and guns to the arsenal of democracy. The series will cover everything you ever wanted to know about our state's history and geography, politics, social movements, religion, industry, education, heroes and villains, and much more in four one-hour lectures, two in the fall and two in the spring. The first lecture, The Land and the People, from Proto-North America through the colonial era, era, two million years ago to 1763, will be held on Tuesday, September 24th at 1 o'clock p.m. The lectures are free to members and $5 for non-members. Please reserve a seat by calling us at 860-408-1336 or emailing us at simsburyfreelibrary at gmail.com. Tom Ratliff is a former English and social studies teacher who writes historical fiction for young adults. An expert on Connecticut history and the Civil War, he has a master's degree in early American history. Mr. Ratliff has taught at Central Connecticut State University for the past 20 years in both the history and secondary education departments. Currently, he is teaching online for the community college system and writing a book about Connecticut's role in the American Revolution. The Simsbury Free Library will also host the Genealogy Roadshow with our genealogy librarian, Diane LeMay, on Saturday, September 14th from 10 till 2. If you are researching your family tree, 
but don't know where else to look to find your missing ancestors, bring in your tree and Diane can help with deciphering handwriting, French documents, online research, Massachusetts and French Canadian research, and much more. It's free to members and $5 for non-members. On Saturday, September 28th, our professional librarian will present a program on online genealogy research at 11 a.m. Diane will give you tips to be more successful in your genealogy-related searches when using google.com, ancestry.com, and findagrave.com, as well as many of Google's tools and elements that will help in your research. The program is free to members and $5 for non-members. The Simsbury Free Library opened its doors in 1890 as the public library for the town of Simsbury, thanks to the generosity of a group of public-spirited citizens and endowed by a generous grant from Amos R. Eno. The designation free distinguished it from the subscription libraries that were common at the time. When the library outgrew the space at the Free Library, it was moved to the newly built Simsbury Public Library, one block away, in 1986. Today, the Simsbury Free Library works to promote interest in history and genealogy by providing access to research material, expertise, and artifacts, and by offering cultural and educational programs. The Simsbury Free Library is also home to the Williams Phelps Eno Memorial Center. Mr. Eno is internationally recognized as the father of traffic regulation and transportation engineering. He developed what we know today as the rules of the road, such as driving on the right side of the road. We have all of Mr. Eno's original scrapbook, scrapbooks in which he saved visionary writing and correspondence with world leaders and other notables dating from the late 1800s. If you haven't been into the Simsbury Free Library before, it is worth a visit. We are open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 5 and the second and fourth Saturdays of the month from 10 to 2, as well as by appointment. For more information, visit www.simsburyfreelibrary.org, call 860-408-1336 or email us at simsburyfreelibrary at gmail.com. Earlier in the program, we asked a sports trivia question. What golfer won both the Masters Tournament and the Open Championship, British Open, back in 1998 and was named PGA Player of the Year. You are correct if you answered Mark O'Mara, who had 34 professional wins and 16 PGA Tour wins in his fine career. O'Mara is currently a member of the Champions Tour, which he joined in 2007. That's it for this week. If you have questions about anything you see on SCTV, you can call us at 860-658-1720. You can visit us in the lower level of Eno Memorial Hall. Consider joining our team of volunteers or support the volunteer efforts with a tax-deductible donation to the station. You can donate online at our website, simsburytv.org. Remember, SCTV is your hometown station where you can produce programs for free. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for joining us. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.